Hello everyone, Matthew Silpot here. I know I have not been in this space in quite a while, but I want to use this opportunity to really thank you for the journey so far and to thank you for your subscription, your comments and your likes. Uh, we are now in the double, uh, not the double, in the triple digits. So we are about 100 subscribers. So I really hope that, you know, the word can get out there and you can encourage others to jump on the bandwagon and see if we can get the, our, our subscription drive up some more. So thank you once more. So I'm just dropping this here. Um, just a part of my thoughts uh, that I was, I recently was at a music workshop within the States and um, to see one of Jamaica's greatest bass players being honored um, for his work, um, compositions, com collaborations and impact within the music industry over the years. And that name is Leroy Sibbles. And the funny thing, I never knew that he had so many hits. Um, he, his bass lines were in pieces that I, I never knew about. Um, and there was a comment that, that was made, that he made at the conference that really um, caused me to kind of step back and think. And it really hit me at a place too. Because when when the list was being unveiled in terms of how many pieces he had worked on, and the question was, so how we have not heard this piece or these pieces? And his comment was, Jamaicans don't listen to anything they don't know. And when he said that comment, I really have to pull back. And say, you know, it's true, you know. It's quite true and unfortunate that we live in a space where we have so much talent, so much talent, that it may cause persons to sh shift from that road or that journey because of the appreciation or the unappreciation of our citizens here. I am a product of music and music education. So I know the value and I know my worth. I know the impact that I can make and will make and, and already have made, for, for example. So when, when you're in a space where you can look back at your work and say, you know, I, I can't do this within the context of my homeland because persons will not appreciate it. That's not right. I can't see if, you know, when we're in this space, we want to own, want to hone the talents as well. And we want to make the impact. I mean, the music has been impacting the world. No doubt, the statistics are there. The records are there to prove it. And it keeps impacting. But some of our artists have done magnitudes of work that have not even scratched the surface within our own country. When you go to Europe, when you go to all of these foreign countries, and it always amazed me, you know, there was one particular group as well, Grace Trillers. I grew up on the Grace Trillers, and it's um, almost like you heard certain things on the data, but, but I got a culture shock when I went to the States, and Grace Trillers came and it was like, the whole place catch a fire. And other, like what we call country or old school singing, there's so much appreciation for them outside of Jamaica. Why? There's also so much appreciation for even our coming current artists. And quite unfortunate that 90% or a, 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 a major percentage of our artists they get their accolades and their flaws outside of Jamaica and when the rest of the world is really seeing the impact when they when, when Jamaica is seeing the impact of the world they're almost like we jump on the bandwagon come on we can't do better than that 
you know we embrace our own we give them the courage give them the motivation that they need to propel music by far music is the best thing since sliced bread no doubt and i say that without apology because it's true you can go anywhere and your impact may have been through music experience that saying other ears are, are are not important but like foundation and things you think about it because we were born aesthetic beings so our go-to was the arts to start but to the point that we have so much talent in our country why can't our artists feel at home at home why do they have to leave this space to feel the impact of their worth outside of Jamaica? Why is that? This is something we need to change. And those words within that the context um, that we said that Jamaicans not going to not to hear anything they don't know speaks volumes. So I want us to encourage others around, you know? Persons who maybe, you know, and not just music, persons who are doing anything, if they have a passion for the, the sciences, they have a passion for the arts, anything that we make them feel that they are doing something that is positive and can be worthwhile. A lot of times persons are dissuaded from music because they say there is no value or no, no remuneration, there is no career. That those are lies. Some of the best jobs are in the arts. Some of the highest paid jobs are in the arts. And some of the persons who do the arts are these doctors are the same doctors and lawyers. Right? So, I want to hear from you. Throw in the comments what you think about this. You know, our situation here. And how important is it for persons to appreciate the talents of others who are upcoming. Until next time, those are my thoughts. Alright, catch you on that.